Hey y'all, this your girl, the real deal, Lanita Gills Reaction Channel. Like, share, and subscribe. Well, y'all, let's get into our uh content. Hope everybody having a blessed day. Uh, let's get into it. It's YNW Melly Day 7, y'all. Now, what I caught when I got home from work that uh uh a detective, uh not a detective, uh, uh, undercover was in a mask. Mask witnesses uh, claim he had like 50,000 hit job on him in the past. But the thing about this is he sat outside for uh, and watched everybody come in and out that place. But when it was time to come inside the uh, courtroom, he decided to make sure he had his mask on. But you got to remember, he's a detective, undercover. So he needed to wear a mask because he know Net Melody and whoever in the court might know him, right? Okay, take a listen to this.
He talk as if he know Melly. And then, too, y'all got him on TV. That man got to protect himself. He got everybody. Okay, this is one of the messages that the prosecutor is uh, speaking out uh, his mother's st uh, starting mess. I ain't said nothing. I don't care. I something right there. Sleeping, you act like you don't have sister. Who is Sansa? Ain't nobody 
each time you detect her, she minding her business, going to work, you effing with her. The response then, she could have called me or texted me back, not have you or daughter all on social media talking about fighting me like I cussed at her. I didn't even say one cuss word when I texted her. I said nothing disrespectful and you know it. I wish you took up for me like that when aunt cussed me out and tried to fight me. Again, this is talking about Anthony Williams on that. So, like I said before, the next message on August 30th, I don't know what's all going on. He's talking about making a live video, talking about your mother. It's going to make people hate you. That's why I have never and would never do that because I love you and that's your best friend. This is not for social media. So, continuing on, next page. This particular page, so this is again referring to the social media conversations on that with regards to Anthony Williams and the defendant's mother. So for here, no, I'm not your actions. I take up for you. I have people telling me your son doesn't care about them. That Jamal Hayden's mother is Jamie King. Here she is identifying that she is speaking to her son in that. Um, so then I want to go then to after the time of the homicide. Have you heard of life insurance with Luke? Jamie King is sending a text message to her son. Send me your location. I'm in spirit. I love you so much. He then sends a return to the location showing at or about the time of the crime as to who is using and doing that. Okay, love you again from Jamie King. I'm at your gate. I'm going to get the trash. The next response is bring Mariah, which you honor I've already heard her testimony, that Felicia Holmes, her daughter, Mariah Hamilton, was in a dating relationship with this defendant and that at this time, and that there was conversations, and that she has identified Mariah as Mariah Hamilton. Then there is okay. And it continues. He then asks his mother to buy him a gloss, ASAP, and telling her, like, go now. So she then responds, okay, what's wrong? She says, I got your 45. Then his response, I just don't want no illegal gun. Well, that's not illegal. Continuing on, but I'd rather have a Glock 40. 419. She says, okay. His response is, I'll pay you when you get down here. She then says, okay. Then, I object to this. Continuing on, there have been discussions about other witnesses. I'm waiting on track to cash at me the $1,000. And then she asks, is someone threatening you? To which he replies, no, ma. This is his mother that he's talking to. And he's saying, I'm not scared, just listen. This is clear proof and evidence that this is Jamal Jones' phone that he is speaking with his mother on that one. So on the last one that shows, November 3rd, 2018, love you too, Ma, Ma, and yes, son, on that, where she is identifying that is the phone that is being used by her son, and that is on the subscriber. However, that's not the only thing. In addition, the defendant also, in other conversations, at or about, Tyson to someone to be able to authenticate and show specific items in terms of going through and setting up a rental. And even has so much as puts the address of 805 North and 4th Avenue within to the studio and knows that. Also talks, and this is a conversation with Adrian Davis, in which he is using this phone and sending in pictures of his driver's license in his phone. And some of the other pictures and items that your honor has in front of you, there's pictures of credit 
prosecution seems to have the upper hand. Uh, I know that the defense has poked a few holes. Um, in particular, they, they can't identify the murder weapon. But I do think the prosecution is, is putting forth a, a fairly solid case. That's right. I said it. I said the same thing that man said. It's the, uh, that prosecutor, is she up on her job? I believe they know what's going on, too. I believe the, everybody outside know what's going on. Cause right, watch so how he come out. Look. He gave him the eye. The he dude the right there with the black shirt. Melly did. When that dude came, when Melly came out, Right here, there is some about dude right here who went back in. Melly came out right here. There go Melly. Them dudes outside. Now, right here. Okay, dude, they outside, right? Y'all see one, two, three dudes. They outside and um bad. Um watch him. He knows something. I believe he know more than what he's saying. Now watch this dude when Mella come out, he goes in. Right, so there's this surveillance footage. Look, Ryan he gave Mella gave him the eye. Studio. On the night of the murders, he gets into this car. Mella gave him the eye. before Henry goes to the hospital with the victims in the car. So that's for me, and by the way, there was a 40 caliber bullet, a 40 caliber shell casing found in that car. Prosecutors want to see where Demons was sitting. Is that the kind of evidence that you think is really strong for the prosecution? Yes, Jesse, that's actually what leapt out to me as well. Very uh, strong. You know, with the dog, we didn't bark. There's no evidence of this alleged there's no evidence. There's no evidence of a drive-by. Scare buds are water and sweat resistant. They have three customizable sound profiles and custom gel tips to fit your ear perfectly. They're great for working out, traveling on your commute, or listening to our sidebar podcast, of course. You can get 15% off. I told them they were up to some. Sometimes the only thing more difficult than running a business is finding <sighs> with the prosecutor. I hope this thing went on. With the prosecutor, she's using everything they saying against them. She know what she's doing. She putting everybody in prospective. Now this woman right here. She know exactly what's going on. She knows exactly what's going on. But because she know her daughter name got to come up in this. Yes, she did. Mistrial. 
you were you surprised that the judge denied the mistrial? No, I was not Me surprised either. that the judge uh, denied the mistrial. Me either. I think the jury will make of it what they will. That's I, right. I think that it may be that they disregard her testimony in its entirety, given the discrepancies in her testimony. 